Hi, I'm Kit Colbert, and I am super excited to talk about a game-changing evolution of vSphere called Project Pacific. The goal of Project Pacific is to transform vSphere into a modern application platform. But why are we doing this? Well, applications have changed. Apps today are more heterogeneous and complex. An app is no longer composed of one or two VMs, but is now a complex combination of VMs, containers, application services, and more. This causes problems for both developers and IT ops. Developers don't get the tools or experience they want, and IT ops can't properly secure or manage these applications. But vSphere has already solved these problems for traditional apps. So the question is, how can we evolve vSphere so it can do the same for modern applications as well? Enter Project Pacific. Project Pacific uses Kubernetes to fundamentally re-architect vSphere. It unites vSphere and Kubernetes by embedding Kubernetes into the control plane of vSphere, meaning containers now appear on the vSphere client right next to VMs and can be managed just like VMs. It also converges the VM and container runtime using something called vSphere native pods. vSphere native pods are a fast, lightweight, and secure container runtime built into vSphere. And in some cases, they're even faster than bare metal. Project Pacific also enables IT ops to manage at an application level. This means that instead of individually managing VMs and containers, IT Ops has app-level control for applying policies, quota, and role-based access to developers. By doing all this, Project Pacific facilitates developer and IT Ops collaboration. IT operators can use vSphere tools to deliver Kubernetes clusters to developers, who can then use Kubernetes APIs to access that underlying SCDC infrastructure. With Project Pacific, VMware is transforming vSphere into the application platform of the future. Learn more about it at VMware.com.